Hello friends, this video on biomolecules part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's talk about the denaturation of proteins. So protein, if you see in the biological system, with the it has a unique three-dimensional structure. So if you see this is how protein looks, it has a unique three-dimensional structure, right? And it has a unique biological activity. And this is called native protein. This is called native protein. Correct. So when this native protein, or this is also native protein here actually, is subjected to physical change like change in temperature, right? Change in pH. So what happens? This hydrogen bond which binds this protein, all this uh, force which binds this protein, gets disturbed, right? So what happens then? So due to weakening of this hydrogen bond, what happens is these globes, these globules, they unfold. And this helix, it gets uncoiled, and the protein loses its biological activity. It loses biological activity. And this method is this process is called denaturation of protein. So here in this case, my two degree, three degree, four degree, all these structure are lost. But one degree, that is the primary structure, that is the sequence of amino acids that remain intact. Right? So the biological activity is lost, but still one degree is intact. This is called denaturation of proteins. Once again, the native protein, when you uh, when it is under change in temperature, pH, or stuff like that, what happens is uh, the hydrogen bond breaks, and this uh, the globules unfold, and the helix gets uncoiled, and the protein loses its biological activity. And this is called denaturation of protein. In this case, the two degree, three degree, and four degree structure is lost but one degree structure that is the sequence of amino acid is intact this is called denaturation protein right so the example is the coagulation of uh, egg white on boiling so you have this, this egg this has a semi uh, solid or this is a liquid kind of yellow syrup inside it but if you boil it you get something like this right why because it coagulates because the protein inside the egg denatured and you get something like this. The next example is the curdling of milk. Let's take some numerical. The question says that uh, the melting point in the solubility of water in amino acids are higher than that of corresponding halo acids. So I have halo acids and I have amino acids. So we have to say that the solubility and melting point of halo acids are Amino acid is more than halo acid. So amino acid, if you see in amino acid, you have uh, R, C, H, NH2, and COH. So if you see here, my acidic group and basic group both are attached. It's amino group and carboxyl group are attached, right? So in the in the aqueous medium, it forms zwitter ion. plus and CO minus. This we have seen. So due to this dipolar behavior, they have strong electrostatic interaction with them, with water. So with this, they have very high solubility. Also they have high melting point. But if you take any halo acid, they don't have such kind of luxury. Example, if you take this halo acid, they don't have such kind of luxury, but basically, this is my amino acid. It forms zwitter ion and it forms uh, the more electrostatic interaction with water. It has high melting point and high solubility. But this is my halo acid, it doesn't have uh, such kind of thing. The next is where does the water present in the egg go after boiling? See, we have seen that egg has protein, correct. So egg has a protein called albumin, I think, yeah. So when you boil this protein, it's a, it's a globular protein. When you boil this protein, what happens? The proteins get denatured and it coagulate, right? So after boiling, the water present in this egg is absorbed by this coagulated protein. It acts like a sponge, it absorbs all the water. 
And please note this water is not evaporated or it doesn't flow away. It is inside the shell itself because the shell is a pretty strong enough to hold the water. It is in this only. It is the water is absorbed by this coagulated protein. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.